The Ministry of Local Government is currently undertaking a five-day inspection tour of metropolitan and municipal assemblies involved in the Great Accra Resilient and Integrated Development Project. The objective is to evaluate the ongoing desilting works and community engagement in the respective assemblies. On the third day of the tour, the team, led by Deputy Minister Martin Kwekweje Mensa Corsa, visited the Ayawasa Central, Ayawasa North, Ayawasa East, and Ayawasa West municipalities. The tour, which commenced on Monday, June 12, is scheduled to conclude on Friday, June 16, 2023. The minister disclosed that the ministry has disbursed a total of $1,300,000 out of the allocated $3,250,000 to the 17 Garrett Project Beneficiary Assemblies for desulting local drains and other drainage improvement works. However, he expressed concern that the significant investments made by the government in flood control programs are being undermined by the inappropriate behavior of some Accra residents who construct buildings in waterways and engage in indiscriminate dumping of solid waste, which ends up clogging drains in the city. He specifically called for the immediate demolition of illegal structures at the tributary of the Odor River in Soba Down, a suburb of Westlands in the Ayawaso West municipality. Not too long ago, I taught some parts of Ghana to have a look at uh, lands that have been encroached upon by people which belong to government and which are needed to build schools and other, other, other uh, you know, um, settlements. But you go and people with impunity just build. That's what I'm seeing here, indiscriminate siting of, 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 of buildings into the buffer zone. And so we expect them to move to reclaim. It's important we protect lives. And so my word to everybody is that in this place, I expect the assembly, the planners to get to work and then you break some of the walls, okay, to make way for the water. The gutter is even closing up. Sorry, the, uh, the drain is closing up. And I, 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 I dare say, come tomorrow, they may close it up to build. And so we must evoke the full powers of the assembly, uh, push us back and make sure that the, the, the right of course of the water is maintained to ensure that human lives are safe and then uh, we don't think, um, record any disaster. Martin J. Mensakosa shared his observations with the media on Wednesday after the working visit to the four Ayawaso municipal assemblies. He expressed his disappointment with the performance of the Ayawaso Central and Ayawaso North municipal assemblies despite receiving 420,000 Ghana cities each for their work. We've been to Ayawaso Central, we've gone to uh, Ayawaso East, we've gone to uh, the North and here is the West which concludes our activities for today. My general impression is that if you compare this, which is Ayawasu West, to that of East, you see real work, practical work that has been done in terms of dredging or desilting the gutters. The two earlier assemblies, I'm not impressed. I mean, I think that they could have found a better priority to make the impact felt so that, you know, we know uh, we are solving a problem. I mean, if you take me to areas such as what we saw, compared to what I'm seeing here, there is a better impact on this, on people's lives, than the earlier places. Uh, part of the program is to ensure that the money is put to good use. And so, with what I've seen, I'll make a report to the minister. We must begin to relook at the priority in terms of where we apply the money and make sure that we are getting value for money and that we are making the necessary impact on human lives. And, 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 and settlements. And Some municipal chief executives also shared their views with the media. Performance is uh, about, uh, if I can say, is uh, 60 70 percent performance. And uh, we started not today. And we have a vast area for strength to work on. So, as we are doing, any mileage or even thousand start with one mile. So as we've seen, they started, and it's not today that we started. The other side is about 
two, three weeks now. We started very early. We didn't wait. The moment we saw, at least we have to comply with our directive from the minister. So we comply. You know, we live in a zone community. And you know the consequences. So it's, it's a recurrent affair. We will continue to do it. It's not a one-day affair here. The same thing before even the directive. It's something we have been doing. We are used to what cleaning uh, of what uh, drains. We've done some dredge work here around the GBC. As you saw, we are almost complete. Almost 75 percent of the work has been done. We are left with just some uh, collection of the, the after the dissolved the, the dredging, and then we chose three areas. That is Kanda Highway. We are doing some dissolving. Now one to is almost 70 percent done. And then um, a different area at Nima, that's we call Nima Downside. We are going to cleanse the place there. And then uh, the ring road side, we have one ring we're supposed to start.